The interesting thing is the reason RSA is less performant, and probably, again, somebody might criticize me for being inaccurate here, but I think this is basically true. The reason RSA is less performant than, let's say, elliptic curve cryptography is because, uh, precisely because of the, the algorithms that exist for factorization of numbers. Okay, you have this, this modulus, this public key N, and it's basically the product of two primes P and Q. And all you, what you're trying to do if you're trying to break it is, is find those, those primes P and Q. Um, and because algorithms exist, they're not fast enough, let's say, but they are not as slow as you'd like. Uh, to factor this, these numbers, uh, it means that to account for that, you want to make that those keys very large. And so RSA ends up being something done with very large keys. I mean, it started out with 10, 24 bits, and now that's not really secure at all. And now it's 20, 48, and so on, 40, 96. And um, performance-wise, that was a real bottleneck, especially in the early days. You know, computers were not really very good at doing those huge... 300 digit <laughs> number calculations fast enough for real time communication. Uh, so it was fine for PGP, you know, back in the day when PGP was created, but it, it wasn't so fine for building a, a sort of secure layer of the internet. But one of the more interesting questions, if we, if we are, if we are talking about the sort of mathematical side of things is, well, why is it that elliptic curve, like the exactly corresponding operations using elliptic curves instead of RSA? Why is it that they're allowed to use much smaller keys, like 256 bits instead of, let's say, 2048 bits? Um, I'm not setting that as a quiz question because I only, I don't really know the answer myself. I got a sort of an intuition about it, but I'm not really sure. I think the answer is basically that, um, in a way, I think the answer is to do with, because I, I remember reading about this, that the, if you think of the group of elliptic curve points, it's kind of like a pure group. Uh, what do I mean by that? It's, it's a group, but it doesn't have, um, there's no such thing as, for example, uh, factoring numbers in those group elements. There's no structure. This is what I remember. I, I read this somewhere. There's no structure in it. Whereas, uh, in RSA, it's kind of a purer system. Like the underlying mathematical system is much purer and simpler. It's just purely the integers. Um, then you use modulo, modular arithmetic, of course. Uh, but, but these numbers have like, there's some structure there. Um, I think that's what I read. And I, as you can tell from the way I'm speaking, I'm very, like, very vague about it indeed. Uh, but there's, there's this interesting counter argument. I remember having these discussions years ago with some friends. It's like, how well do we really trust elliptic curve cryptography? Because isn't it ultimately a lot more, I mean, I just said the opposite in a way, and I was talking about the group elements, but the whole like system is a lot more complicated than RSA, right? It's, it's, it's a much more sophisticated thing. So it's really hard to like delve in a sufficiently low level into the mathematics to properly understand like where these structures came from or things like the choice of curve is something that often bothers people. Like even people who are quite expert in the field often argue about that. Um, so it's like, it's definitely more efficient. Uh, that's not questionable, but it's more efficient because we've, we have theories which tell us that the key size can be much smaller. I think that's the primary reason so, it's more efficient, I think. Mean. 